As the old saying goes, the show must go on. Borderline creatives are continuing to prove that even during these tough times. Chief photojournalist Johnny Munoz and I share how a local painter, band, and film company is pulling through. It's tonight's special report. Hi, my name's uh, Diego Robot Martinez. This is three shots. Mm -hmm. We had the clean plate. For Dolesco Films, I'm Jaime Blanco, I'm the owner. My name is Jesus Nunez. We are in great shapes. I'm an artist here on the Socorro Mission Trail. Straight out of Casa Ortiz, and we're really excited about the opportunity here to give El Paso. We're a fully equipped audio and visual company. I remember I quit my job as a server at Olive Garden. I'm like, I'm just going to be a painter. Like, and I've quit a lot of jobs just to paint, it seems. <laughs> so it just kind of, you know, I just kind of kept painting. I'll always come back to it. October 24th, 2013, we played our first house party. Been playing ever since. So what I was thinking here for for these guys, because it was, what was it, was it three? It was four. It was four guys. It was four guys. Double Scope Films, you know, it's, it, it's, it was developed about 15 years ago. It's been operating here professionally in El Paso for 11 years now. I wasn't necessarily like planning on on a lot of the stuff that has happened. You know, like I, I couldn't have predicted it and I think just the will to go and just to continue being an artist was, you know, really something that you have to ask yourself. And you know, you can't really second guess yourself. It started off as us three, um, a little trio. And after, you know, kind of hanging out, writing some songs, we decided, like, hey, well, let's make this a, a band now. Let's make it official. And so some names floated around, and then um, Evan. You suggested great shapes. Yeah. <laughs> and we was like, we dig it. And that's where all that started. Filmmaking, whether people know of it or understand it, it's very technical. Following their passion by expressing themselves with a stroke of a brush. Or by the beat of a drum. Majority of borderline artists were caught off guard when the pandemic hit. After March, we went into a hiatus. But uh, we all kept writing and working at home. We got a, like a live streaming offer good to do. And that was our first and only show since March that we've done. I was, you know, having galleries closed maybe seven, eight months out of the year. You know, it's kind of crazy. Right around mid-March, we were in the middle of like three productions. Um, so we were already going into post with those, luckily. From that point on to like, I'd say early August, we were dead. There was no productions no more. Obviously, everyone was being quarantined at home, trying to be safe as possible. With trials and tribulations, it's easy to give up. Nothing else to do, man. So, why did they keep going? The passion for this, for production. This is all I know. This is all I want to do, and that's that. I can never go back to a nine to five job. <laughs> do it. Do it. What's keeping us going is like the promises we made to each other, and um, we're a family, and um, we're just not going to give up on each other. I feel like it's our responsibility to keep that, to keep that, you know, developing and growing. So, 
it's also like a duty to everybody else. You know, it's commitments that I make to myself in the city and the community with my art that really makes it easy to continue. Like, it's not about me, it's not about Diego Robot, it's about making moments happen for people that need them, especially during these times. We have lots and lots of material to work on and we're excited to get back in the studio and get out there and playing shows and find a way to fund the album and get it out to everybody who still is still with us. El Paso, you know, has been hit hard, but it doesn't mean that we're not fighting any less. And I know that this is just making us all stronger. And so we just need to continue to help each other and do what we need to do to stay safe. For us to have one of those songs that is very relatable to whatever someone's going through that can help them, that's what our goal is.